Yes, God. Yeah, work, work. Yes, God. Hey, lovelies. Oh my God. Dun dun dun. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars has just started, and I am freaking out. Oh my God. All of the people that are on it amazing and I love all of the flashbacks my favorite flashback I have to tell you that my absolute favorite snatch game ever was Adore Delano doing Anna Nicole Smith do you like my body I thought it was so on point that I literally like I spit my drink out when I was like when I was watching it um I am all set to watch the entire episode and of course keep you updated of what's going on and, uh, yeah, I, like, I am so excited. I also like RuPaul's updo in her, uh, um, opening there. It's kind of awesome. I like that. I like that. And I really like everyone's costume. And I, and it's funny, right? I actually get Adore's comment about being, someone saying that she was lazy. You know, when I did drag, when I performed, I actually did real girl drag. So I basically just put on a little bit of extra makeup, but still basically wore like some really nice clothes and stuff like that. But I kept it very simple and very classy. So I actually understand her doing that grunge look because that's her. That's her persona. That's who she projects. Um, and so, yeah, so I love it. I love everyone. I love everyone. And can we please talk about Miss Coco Montrese walking in with the Dorito? That was... Hello. Yes, God. That was awesome. I loved that. I love, love, love that. And that cinched waist that Alyssa has. Hello, Miss Thing. You better work that cinched waist. Hello. I am a little freaked out at um, Detox's uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory hair and eyebrows um, when she's not in drag. And so that kind of freaks me out, like, a lot. But other than that, I'm really excited. I'm excited, you know, I... Listen, I attacked Roxy when she was such such a nasty person on the season that she was on. And um and I'm excited to see if she's grown as a person since then. Um Fifi O'Hara, exactly the same thing. I thought they were both assholes when they were doing their show, when they were doing the show. And Ginger Minge, I thought actually the three of them were assholes. But this opportunity of all stars is really great because we may actually be able to get to see the real them because they may have, you know, a lot of people will put on a certain act or drama and all these other things for the show. And then in real life, they're actually kind of nice. So I'm excited to see if they've grown as people, um, and performers, of course. Uh, yeah. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my God. The library is open hello and of course the winner was alaska i don't even know what coco montrese was talking about hers was just eh. adores was cute adores was very cute ginger minge was good um roxy's was all right i i really really i honest to god i do think that alaska's was absolutely the funniest especially when she looked at detox and was like detox no really a detox. This is your intervention. I was like, yes, yes, God, yes. So excited. And now a talent show. Oh. Hashtag drag race talent show. So let's start with Adore Delano. The look on Michelle Visage's face says it all. She's pissed that Adore isn't cinched. Guaranteed. Um, Alaska was great. Detox was oddly sexual for some reason, and I ain't into girls, but I was like, oh, girl, look at that. Oh, I like it. Um, Coco Montrese. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm. No. Uh, 
I can't even, there's like, there's no words to describe what Coco Montrese did. I think I performed that exact same act when I was seven years old in my bedroom as a kid. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, Ginger Minge. Girl, I've heard you sing. You're actually really good. I have no idea why you chose that song to sing to. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I don't even know. Whew. Okay, all right, all right. All right, Miss Tatiana. All right, girl. You better work. I love that. I love that spoken word beatnik sort of like, that was hot. That was awesome. That was really well done. And I also really like that Raven-esque look that you had. And I don't mean Raven-esque as in Raven Simone, the bitch who's um, judging. Uh, I'm sorry. She's a bit of a loudmouth and I don't like her. But I mean like Raven. I like that. I like that hair that you have. That's very much like Raven. Um, listen, Alyssa Edwards was funny. I loved the little the little puppet that was supposed to be RuPaul. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Um, Roxy Andrews, girl, you better work. Better work. Better work. 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 You better work. Yes, God. It's performances like that that make me love the show. To see an entertainer come out and do something like that was just fantastic. And your costume was on point, girl. Head to toe. And let's discuss the quick change, wig change. Now, that doesn't always work out for some girls. They can't always get it done right. But when you came back up in the hair, girl, you better work, 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 work. Fabulous. I loved it. Um... And Katya, gymnastics. Girl, you bent over backwards. The men you sleep with must have a very good time with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I am just saying. Um, yeah, that was that was fun. That was really really fun. Um, you know, like I said, Adore's Adore was great. Um, Alaska was funny as always. Um, Coco Montrese. Ugh, girl. Um, Ginger Minj. Ugh, girl. Alyssa Edwards. Golf clap for you, honey. Golf clap for you. Katya. Hello, yes. Golf clap again. Mm -hmm. Everything was just amazing. I love that. I really, really love this layout here, what they're doing with the All-Stars, too. Um, I hope you're enjoying watching it as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to break and watch the next segment and come back and dish about it. Time for a refill, honey. There is all tea and all shade right now happening. So, it doesn't come as any shock that Roxy and Tatiana were the top two. Does it? I don't think so. I think both of their performances actually were the most incredible performance of all. I am saddened to think that there are queens that are safe this season. Um, that kind of, you know, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, I think that, I, I mean, Tatiana, her spoken word was amazing. I would actually buy that as a ringtone. Dear, just saying, Tatiana, if you ever want to sell that as a ringtone, I will totally buy it. No problem. And Roxy, like I said, your performance, that costume, everything about it was on fucking P-O-I-N-T point. You better work, girl. And I will say this, having watched just a little bit of this episode... I do actually see a sort of humility about you right now that you didn't have before. Um, but you did start out really nice in your season and then you turned into kind of a monster. So we'll see how that goes. I hope that you stay nice. I really like you. I'm rooting for you. I really genuinely enjoy you and your performances. I think that you are probably one of the most beautiful queens that has ever been on RuPaul's Drag Race, other than RuPaul, genuinely. So with that being said, Let's see who gets eliminated. Oh, God. So, sorry. But the girl that I chose is Coco. Wow. 
Now this has got to say something. Roxy, I just tweeted you and I have to say, it is nice to see that you're playing this game with integrity. Um, you know, a lot of times when people are thrust upon these sort of shows, these reality shows, um, a lot of underhanded stuff happens. I will say this. I admire the fact that you owned up to what you said um, in your season. I am very impressed by you for owning up to that because a lot of other people wouldn't have. And rightfully so. I mean, you were kind of really mean. And... Um, but you explained yourself. And I remember watching the end and I watched your apology and I thought, this is such bullshit. I didn't feel like you meant it. But now, watching you this season... I can see that you have grown as a person, and that was really inspiring to watch. Coco Montrese, as sad as this sounds, it's not a surprise that you went home tonight. Um, you're an incredible entertainer. However, your performance tonight was lackluster at best. It just, I don't know. My dogs have thrown up better performances than that, I'm just saying. Um, but, yeah. Better luck next time, girl. Sorry about it. Not sorry. Um, RuPaul, this is an amazing all-star. I love this. I love the fact that they're eliminating each other. And, um, and I think that that's kind of amazing to watch. I think that, I think that there's a couple of girls that we should be, um, looking out for. I.e., of course, Adore. Um, Alaska and Roxy and Tatiana. I have a feeling that they are going to be the top of the tops on a regular basis and I'm excited. Um, Michelle Visage, I love you girl. I really do love you but you need to lay off the ideology that all drag queens have to be cinched and look a certain way. That's not Adore's aesthetic. She doesn't come out dressed like that and you need to respect that. I really do think that she upped her game for this. I mean, for, compared to what she wore last time, Jesus Christ, this was a fucking ball gown. I loved it. Odor, don't let the hate get to you, honey. We all love you. We really genuinely do. Um, Todrick Hall, it was kind of fun watching you on the show. I hope that you are a regular guest host. Because um, uh, guest judge, guest judge, not guest host. I mean, the host is RuPaul, of course. But I hope that you're a regular because you're a lot of fun to watch. You had really good opinions, and I really like that. You remind me of Ariana Grande. When Ariana Grande was on, she was very honest and very forthright. And I see that in you. And I really liked that. Um, Fifi O'Hare, girl, it is time to step up your game. Step it up, because what you are doing now did not work. It sucks that you sang a cappella and it just did not work out. However, you dust yourself off and you get back up and you play to win. Hopefully, I will be here next week doing another review of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 2. I hope that you liked it. Tell me who you thought should have been in the bottom or if you think that, you know, what Roxy did was right. Always down below in the comments. That's what the comment section is there for, for people like you who are watching my YouTube show for you to vent. Maybe I got it wrong. Who knows? That's not likely, I'm just saying. But maybe I did. So, as always, never forget to share your comment down below, telling me what you think, of course. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. And, of course, if you have not subscribed yet, hit the goddamn subscribe button. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.